created by Konami. Alright guys, there we go. This is Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Trooper. By me, one month. Yeah. Well, how's it going guys? I'm very excited to come back to this game. Last time on Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour, we uh, defeated the last member of the Big Five, defeated Noah, and defeated his father, Goza Burokaibo, once and for all. So, in this episode, uh, yeah, and afterward we came here to the where the Expert Cup's going on. So in this episode, we're just gonna kind of, uh, we're not actually gonna go to the Expert Cup lab yet. I know you guys are excited to do that, but uh, there are some other people around here to duel, and I forget who all you can duel at this point, so we're just gonna talk to everyone you can duel extra. And then, um, probably next episode we'll start with Extra Cup. By the way, look at the background, is that, is that Victory Dragon? I know that's Blue Eyes. The Victory Dragon, another Blue Eyes, kind of, a kind of banner featuring Kaiba. Another one with Kaiba, and that looks like, that looks like the, uh, the poster for Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour in the corner there. Huh, kind of interesting. Uh, anyway, <laughs> just some, thought I'd point some stuff out. Okay, let's see who's around here. Or, oh, no way. Oh, you can see that better now. That, yeah, is that the intro for the Power to Chaos? Like the banner for it? I think it is. Uh, anyway, let's head way back here to the locker room. Let's start here. Yeah, and we'll see if we can duel someone here. Uh, yeah, there seems to be someone inside. Okay, so let's, uh, yeah, let's see if we can duel whoever this is. All right, my, I remember. So you made the finals. I knew there was something special about you, Han. How about we duel? I want to see how I do against tough competition. All right, let's see. Lady Sanctuary. All right, let's do it, guys. Let's do it. All right. Looks like my will probably be going first. Unless she lets us go first. In which case, that's fine. Oh, by the way, I think I'm going to move this slightly this way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because, uh, I mean, I'm cutting off the Grave Robber card, but you know what? I don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll leave a little bit of the Grave Robber card. Uh, like, right... There. I think, honestly, it does look better yet. Yeah, so sorry. I cut off Grave Robber and I cut off Yugi and the gang down here. But, I mean, uh, Tristan and the gang down here. But, you know, I think this is in the four-way duel, by the way. <laughs> the image on the right from when, um, uh, yeah, anyway, what you do first turn? Okay. Uh, yeah, it's from the, uh, four-way duel. Uh, yeah, when it was, oh, you know, I know she plays that trap. I should, I should have known better. Uh. Fine. I should have MST'd that. That's sorry, Penguin Soldier. That's my bad. Um, I can steal her monster this turn and do uh, a lot of damage, but I think it's gonna be funnier since uh, the Penguin Soldier plan didn't work out to steal her monster and run it into another one of her monsters. Well, I can't run DD Assailant into that monster, so dang, this would have been great too if I got Penguin Soldier off. I would have just sent her back to square one this turn. Yeah, sorry, Penguin Soldier, that's my bad. All right, next time we'll take care of the back row. But at least, you know, there's no back row for Morphing Jar. Hmm. That is true, that is true. So, well, okay, yeah. Looks like Morphing Jar's the play. It's so all set. And I'll set three cards, my the one. Oh, I was say, I thought I might have activated that. Um, set. Okay, good. And I, I'll definitely check on Heavy Storm, because I definitely don't want to accidentally activate it. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> I mean, can you blame me, guys? I mean, yeah. <laughs> Definitely don't want to uh, storm my own back row there. That would be atrocious. All right. RP Lady 3. Ooh, not good. Yeah, well, at least she doesn't have the field spell yet. Well, even if she did have the field spell, I have MST, so. Um, maybe I'll run Assailant into Sisters there. Yeah. Really depends on what we draw. You know, I could run Assailant into Harpy Lady 3. Then when she gets it back, she couldn't attack for a few turns. That's a good plan. That's a good plan. Okay. All right, Morphing Jar, go! Discard our hands and let us draw five new cards. Yeah, this is gonna hurt. Is this gonna be game, by the way? Let me let me go big screen here. Let's look at all the damage. So she's got 17 and 1950. Oh my god, did she just win? No, we're gonna have like 500 life points? 
can't even afford brain control. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have like 600 life points. Holy smokes, my. Wow. Yeah, that's one of the dangers of a Harpy Lady deck, though. They can swarm. A little late to be playing that card, but, uh, it's fine, my. Hunting ground, I'm not too afraid of. Because you've already summoned. Jeez. Okay. Alright, alright. Well, I guess we do have Crush card, so. Man. Alright, start by taking Sinister Serpent back. I'll try to come back in this one, guys, but it's gonna be tough for sure. Okay, I'll set Spirit Reaper. Um, dang it. Dang, dang, dang it. Um, well, I think we just lost. Crap, because yeah, Flying Kamakuri can do enough damage. I mean, I know I have Spirit. Well, there's a chance. There's a chance, guys. If she tributes. Uh, flying Kamakuri, we have a slight chance. Dang it, and I have Dust Tornado. Okay, I really should keep in mind that her Shadow of Eyes... Really? Shadow of Eyes won her the game here. Like, literally. Uh, ooh. Well, I have to do this now. Uh, yeah, can't activate traps. Okay, I have to do this now, so... I have the Dust Tornado now. But I'm, I want to chain Crush uh, Card Fire, so... Okay, there we go. That way, Crush Card Virus will destroy your Harpy Lady while she's got it, but... Yeah, man. Yeah, I really should have taken out that other set card. Crap. That's my bad, guys. That's my bad. But, yeah, she, she won fair and square here. All she has to do is attack with commonality attack, so... Yeah, Pet Dragon, bye-bye. Wow, yeah. Yeah, you won fair and square, my. And man, she didn't have anything else after that. It's just... I needed a Spirit Reaper to stay in defense mode there. Yeah. Well, guys, we just got defeated by Mai. Yeah, she's pretty good. She's pretty good. And she beat us quick, too. Like, she can definitely swarm the field. She gets her harpies going, so... Well, that's game. Wow, we didn't even do any life point damage to her. Holy crap. And hopefully the people in the tournament aren't, aren't this hard. Jeez. Huh. I won. Huh. If this would have been the finals, the prize would have been mine, huh? Yeah, seriously. Wow. All right, anyway, let's talk to someone else. Uh, yeah, who's this? I want to be just like you. It feels like you held a card in your hand for the first time yesterday. Aw, oh, thanks, Taya. Yeah, honestly, it does. It does. And now you're one of the top duelists. You're living your dream. Hell yeah. I have to work hard, too. Let's duel. Okay, Taya. Okay. It does feel good to live, be living my dream. Uh, but it doesn't feel good that I just lost against mine. <laughs> Speaking of losing, right before this episode, I recorded some Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour, man. And Seto, uh, man, that guy pulled out some bullshit in that episode, let me tell you. Uh, I'm not going to say what, because I don't want to spoil anything, but jeez. Like, so honestly, if I saw a little more saltier than usual in this episode, that's why. Because that dude pulled up Blue-Eyes Ultimate Dragon out of nowhere. Oh, whoops. I mean, it's not, it's not, it shouldn't be a surprise that he has that card. Oh my god, we have the Tornado Wall combo. Okay, let's do it, baby. So, I don't think I've really shown this combo that much, but yeah. Same combo Meko does if Umi's on the field. Uh, yeah, any damage to our life points from uh, battle becomes zero, so it's pretty awesome, honestly, pretty awesome. So, and we got Revival Gem, too. Uh, Taya does run D spell, though, so, but you know what? I just want to activate this just to say, hey, we did the combo at least once in the selfie. One of my favorite combos, honestly, and that's probably the reason I like the Flood deck the most. The, uh, you know, Tornado Wall combo is so good. Because you can make moves like this. You can just play Sand Gan and be like, well, you're not going to do any damage to my life points anyway, so who cares? And if you kill Sand Gan, it only helps me, so, yeah. <laughs> oh, poor Taya. You still got I'll see a little hero. Even, even here at the Expert Cup, huh? I guess her deck doesn't get updated much after afterward, but well, no, no, it does, it does. All characters, you know, get get their deck like updated at some point. Uh, yeah. Anyway, we'll end the turn. All right, can you defeat my Sin Yantea? I'm sure you can, but yeah, uh, apparently you cannot. Wow. All right. Well, um, let's just summon. 
attribute Sammy to summon the king of the vampires, Vampire Lord. And with Sammy, what should I search? Um, oh, well, that Spirit Reaper seems good, honestly. I was going to search through my deck there, but hey, Spirit Reaper's right on top, so. Alright, so I guess we'll attack with, uh, uh, yeah, Revival Jam here. Attack. Scale Angel. Ah, oh, I guess that does let you draw a card. In that comes with your solemn wishes. I guess that's okay. All right, all right. So yeah, I see you. I see you. Up to eight thousand. All right. Hit. And look at Tristan in uh in the thumbnail I have on the on the left side. He's just cheesing, man. Hit. By the way, the thumbnails for this video, I decided to go with. Uh, oh yeah, let me select. Uh, I don't know what this is gonna be, but let's pick it. Uh, apparently, I picked trap cards. But yeah, for the thumbnail, yeah, there's Joey in the four way duel. And then this is like, I think this is when Yugi's facing Merrick in the Shadow game. <laughs> but yeah, Joey looks Joey looks pretty stoked there. So we got two Joey features in this episode. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's see what she discarded. Oh, Solemn Wishes. Good, good. Yeah, I think I'll keep picking trap card, uh, Tana. So. Alright. And now if you use like uh, Bright Geki or Lightning Storm, Vampire Lord will regenerate. Ah, the theme of my deck is immortality, because my revival jam keeps coming back over and over, and my vampire lord can revive itself. Ha! Alright, I summon Spirit Reaper in attack mode. I'm gonna go after some of the cards in our hand. Uh, and if she doesn't have a 2,000 defender, I think we'll be good. Uh, although I just thought, she does have red archery girl. She just hasn't, uh, oops. What happened? Uh, attack? Oh, there we go. Wabaku. Okay. Okay, Tim. I have the Millennium Eye, guys. If it wasn't apparent to you before, it is now. Man, I, <laughs> I freaking called that. Yeah, because I was just thinking, like, Red Archery Girls boosted by Umi, too, so... Yeah. Hmm, interesting. Alright, but you don't have, uh... Yeah, why didn't she attack me there, by the way? I don't know, but anyway... <laughs> Alright, I don't even think I, we need to play Capsule in this duel. I will, however, play United We Stand on... Uh, let me make sure I select the correct target. Yeah, on War Trader. There we go. And we're going to do... Are we going to win this turn? No, no, no. We're going to do some massive damage. So, assuming she doesn't end the battle phase with something like... Um, Ooh, ooh, no, 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 Vampire Lord has to take out the girl. Yeah, there we go. Almost made a whoopsie. Um, but yeah, assuming she doesn't have another red archery girl, or like, um, the, uh, the unhappy, is it the unhappy girl that ends the battle phase when you destroy it? Uh, oh no, just scale angel again. Okay. We'll just draw, draw another card. That's okay, Taya. I'm just gonna take one out of your hand with my spirit reaper. Yeah, she's drawn pretty good in this duel, honestly, though. Getting some combos. That solemn whistle wishes. All right, Spirit Reaper, go sickle scythe. And I'll take a card out of your hand, Tana. What was it? What was it? I'm curious. Oh, she didn't have a free bow either, I guess. Uh, ooh, Moki Moki. Ah, poor widow Moki. I actually like Moki Moki. <laughs> How funny would it be to build a Moki Moki dick in this game? <laughs> uh, all right, a lot of damage from Horse Raider. I'll end the turn. What you got, Taya? I draw a card. That lets me gain 500 thanks to my solemn wishes. Ooh, good card. And you choose the right target with the trader. Oh, that's okay. All right. Ooh, good card, good card. I think we'll summon a revival gem here. Deal. Revival All right. And we'll attack uh, with, uh, well, I think I'll attack with Vampire Lord because if we get through her defender, then, uh, yeah, both of our times have 17, so we'll win. Oh, she could take back Offering to the Doom. Not a bad combo, not a bad combo, but uh, it's going to be a little too late, uh, Taya, because I have enough damage to win. Shadow, Sin Bolt, Zakara, Kageyoshi. By the way, yeah, the Bleach anime is back. Heck yeah, I've been watching some of that lately, man. Oh, I'm so glad that they finally, man, the Bleach anime, like, the, to uh, get the Thousand Year War, man, it, it went through so many issues, man, because, like, 
they were right just about to, uh, you know, come back to the anime. And then the vid happened, you know. Like, I can't say, you know, that word on YouTube, I'm pretty sure. But, you know, the, the, the Rona, the vid, you know. The Coronas that we have in the fridge came. And then there was, like, another delay. Oh, man. It's just crazy stuff, really. But, anyway. All right. We've been our first duel of the episode. Oh, not bad, not bad, 89. Okay. And then, uh, ah, at this rate, the title is yours. Yeah, that was a pretty good duel for us, I must admit. Uh, by the way, are there any new packs at the shop? I think I checked this last episode, and there were not. Um, any new packs? No, okay, so I'll wait until after the Expert Cup to, uh, to buy some. Oh, wait, actually, let's go to the shop. Let's see who's running the shop. Remember last time, the, uh, like the Rare Hunter guy was? Uh, so let's see if we can get something to 80%. Let's see if he's still here. Uh, oh, everything's already at 80%. Oh, man. So we can't get the card list from anything. Okay, so I guess we won't see if he's here at the Expert Cup or not. But I remember showing that at the Beginner's Cup that he was there. And that's where to go. Oh, so it's Serenity. Hey, why don't we do it beforehand? Uh, sure, Serenity. All right, let's do it. Cute sister. Okay, so here at the Expert Cup, apparently you can fight Serenity, um, Taya, and Mai. If you just, you know, if you're kind of stuck. They put these characters here, I think, in case you're stuck and, you know, you need to uh, get some deep uh, Kyber Core points from them. And then you can, um, yeah, buy some packs and then, you know, try to improve your deck if you can't make it past the people in the Expert Cup. So, that's pretty nice. So, ooh, Legendary Ocean. Um, I don't have any waters yet, though. So I don't think I'll activate that. You do. Twin-headed behemoth. All right, Serenity. Go. Now my twin-headed behemoth attacks. Sorry about this. Go. Twin Fang Venom. Uh, Amazon Archer is a great card. I should build a deck around that with Scapegoat. Ah, Numinous Healer. That's, yep, one of her favorite cards. Set Dust Tornado and end the turn. Yeah. So, alrighty. Go ahead, Serenity. What you got? Maybe I should wait to play my field card too until she plays her field. Graceful Charity. Wow, that's a great card. Yeah, that way I can knock out her field card, Chorus of Sanctuary. Let's see what you discarded there, Serenity. Nice, nice card. Another Dust Tornado. Okay, set that. Um, what you discard? Uh, ooh, Unhappy Hero. This is her uh, main strategy, yeah. Pretty good deal of Phantom. Okay, I don't blame you for that. There's only a couple monsters in the grave. Uh, let's just attack. And I'm going to set Sinister Serpent at main phase two. Uh, oh, ah, just like Taya. Red Archery Girl, nice. Not bad, Serenity. Not bad, not bad. Um, yeah, let's just do that. Good thing I didn't play Legendary Ocean yet. Ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Our twin headed behemoth would have went down. Okay. All right, go ahead. Oh, she's tributing for Yakuten Teno Mega Man. Is that how you say that? I think so. Yeah, Yakuten Teno Mega Man. Nice, nice card, Serenity. I think this is one of her strongest monsters. All right, wow, Shatter. All right, but little do you know, my twin headed behemoth has uh, two lives. Resurrect. Twin hidden behemoth. All right. Ah, giant red sea snake. Okay, we got a water monster, but like I said, I think I'm gonna hold the field card. Yeah, probably a good idea. And I'll summon the king of the vampires. I mean, I only have one of this card in the deck, and my uh, my deck's like what, 60 cards? Uh, sorry, like yeah, yeah, close to 60 cards because I have 53, and then one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, my 61 card deck. I drew the one up, you know, in back to back duels. Like, it's pretty unlikely. We'll, we'll hit traps. Ah, Horn of Heaven. That's a good card. Alright. Okay, and I'll end my turn, Serenity. I guess I could have attacked with Behemoth, but we'll just leave it in defense mode for now. Okay, Amazon Archer. Okay. Ooh, Scroll of Bewitchment. Yeah, that lets you change the attribute of something. So, like, let's say I had my. Um, Oh, wait, what's it asking here? Oh, Dark was selected. Okay. But yeah, let's say um, I had, like, Umi Ruka out, or um, my field spell Umi. She could, like, declare water and then get the same boost. So, which is pretty interesting, honestly. Pretty interesting. Also, that card's good if you're running the trap card uh, Fu Rin Kazan. 
Yeah, because then if you have, uh, you know, like, if you have two of the attributes and you're just looking for the third and the fourth, that, uh, uh, yeah, that can become the, um, the, uh, oh, this is probably asking me to chain, huh? Uh, well, you know what? I will pop your back row, sir, and back there. I probably should have done this in the end phase, but it's whatever. And, uh, yeah, you can just select the third attribute you don't have. Oh, graceful dice. I activate graceful dice. I learned to use this card from my big brother, Joey. Oh, uh, only a one. Oh, uh, okay. All right. But, uh, yeah. And then, um, yeah. Uh, what was I saying? Uh, I totally forgot what I was saying. Uh, well, I got another Destroy. Oh, yeah, food and, for in, food and Kazan. Yeah, you can declare, like, the third attribute and then uh, summon the fourth attribute that you need, you know. Yeah, because I'll use Dust Tornado in case she plays her field card. Alright, go, giant red sea snake. Surfertize me, Captain. Man, I'm, I'm honestly lucky that she only got a 1. Because if she had got a 6, I would have had to crash with something. Actually, this turn. So. Alright. Go, Vampire Loa, though. Blood the Vein. Alright, and I'll declare a trap again. Alright, let's see what you said, Serenity. Let's see what you said. I'm just curious. Let's see, trap card. Oh, Wabaku, yeah, yeah, get rid of that, yeah. It's one of her better trap cards for sure. All right, I am my turn, Serenity, go ahead. And I guess after this duel, we'll end the episode, and then, yeah, we'll just start the next episode fresh with the uh, expert cut. Uh, I don't really want to play that right now, but uh, I'll set one of these flip monsters main two. Do I have any spells in the graveyard? Uh, let's see, not really, so, okay. Looks like I'll be setting more for Man, did she draw three Amazon Archer in the same duel? That's pretty good luck. <laughs> to get any of a three of in, a, in an entire duel. I mean, like, she didn't even use Rhoda, so that's, that's crazy, man. All right. All right, let's declare a trap again. Let's see what, uh, yeah, what she sends. Uh, is that world suppression? I think it is. Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay, okay. Wow, she's down to how many cards in her deck? Holy crap, she's down to 24 cards. Wow. I guess we have been mailing her a bit. And she used graceful charity, so. Wow, yeah. <laughs> uh, another set card? Oh, I forgot to set uh, Morphing Jar. That's my bad, guys. That's my bad. Okay, well, I'll do it first this turn. So I'll set this. Uh, maybe I should card destruction, actually. Let's do it. Let's card destruction. Yeah, that way we get a spell in the grave. And I'll get to refresh my hand. Um, uh, what did we get? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Good, good cards. Good cards. Okay. Alright, let's try it again. Giant Red Sea Snake. Got us with the third eye. Yeah. You gotta watch out when she has this card. Because she will use this to help her fuse for St. Joan a little easier. So, yeah. Watch out for that. Trap, and I'll also see what she discarded with uh, card destruction here. Alright. This was taking a little while, but she did heal her life once a couple times. Also, we didn't get the best draws for our monsters. Okay, let's look at your graveyard, Serenity. Uh. Oh, okay. So. Oh, we made her discard Marie the follow one. Oh, dude, she had the combo. She had. She totally had the combo. She just needed uh, polymerization. Wow, wow. Okay, good thing I used card destruction there, honestly. That's wow. Yeah, she could have she could have showed us there. Yeah, this will start boosting her life points, but it's okay. Ah, oh, she looks so happy. She's getting life points. Alright, rain of mercy. That'll heal both of us. Okay, face down. Alright, that's it. Alright, I think we'll we should win this turn, so we'll go to big screen. Alright, sinister serpents. Alright, and let's BM a little bit here, so I'll use Magician of Faith, take back card destruction. Uh -huh. Yep, take back card destruction. We'll use it again, maybe I'll get a cool combo. I haven't shown in this deck yet. Tefida Masats. Alright. Oh shit, which is Apprentice? Ooh, Graceful Charity, okay. So we'll draw three, discard two. Uh, Jinzo, wow. Okay, I'll discard and Grave Robber. And I guess I will sacrifice Magician of Faith. Yo, Jinzo Ningen, Psycho Shaka. All right. All right, and I'll play last wheel in case anything crazy happens here. There we 
There we go. And I don't think I can get exactly zero. Well, actually, maybe I can. Um. Okay. Sea snake go. Okay, which is a bonus. Um. Yeah, I can't get exactly zero. I think if she doesn't have Rebo or anything else. Um. Let's use the Blast Wheel. I think I have something with a thousand in my deck. Uh, I didn't already use Sand Gate yet, did I? Uh, oh, I must have already used Sand Gate. Uh, okay, well, in that case, let's just take... Yeah, we'll just take Revival Jam then. Okay. I was thinking Sand Gate plus, um, plus Jinza would be 3,400, but no, it's okay. It's okay. We'll just go for the uh, uh, blood-sucking effect of uh, Vampire Lord. And she might be pretty low on trap cards after all the attacks we did with them. But uh, anyway, that's the end of the duel, guys. So, oh, she finally sent bad reaction to Samochi. Yeah, it makes sense that she would prioritize keeping that card, though. Because that is pretty key to some of her cards. But anyway, guys, it's going to be the end of the recording uh, right here. So, yeah. Oh, oh, I should show the points. But, yeah, thank you guys for joining me. Appreciate it. Let's see if we get any uh, new bonuses here. We might get, like, a deck destruction bonus? Oh, no, no, no. I guess I need to send more cards with Vampire Lord, but... Okay. All right, let's see what she has to say. Um, I, I, Oh, oh! I, I'm almost embarrassed to ask if you have Dunamis Dark Witch. Will you trade for my Saint Joan? Hell yeah, I will! I, I, th thank you. I'm so happy, Flood. I bet Joey's gonna be totally jealous when he finds out I have this card. Hell yeah! All right, well, that was worth it. That was worth it. All right, guys, so we got to Duel Serenity, and we got uh, St. Joan, so... And we also lost to Mai, and we were able to defeat Ted. All right, so, uh, yeah. We'll save here at the scores table. Uh, yeah, but next time, guys, uh, yeah, we will go into the Expert Cup. Uh, so, uh, who, who's going to be in the Expert Cup? Will we be able to get to the finals and... Are there going to be other mysterious forces at work here in this tournament, like the Millennium Items? Find out next time on Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! NT Nightmare Triple. See you guys in.